In this video, I'll be taking you through the correct way to perform side lateral raises. I'll also show you a variation of the exercise you can do to mix your training up, keep your body guessing, and really get the most from your workouts. In my opinion, side lateral raises are the king of your shoulder exercises. If you want big, well-rounded capped shoulders, then the only way you're going to make this happen is by performing this exercise correctly on a regular basis. I personally incorporate side lateral raises in literally every single one of my shoulder workouts. Because ideal physique is to be really wide and broad across my shoulders. Side lateral raises gives you that really good V taped and makes your physique more pleasing, which is exactly what you want. One of the most important things you must make sure you are doing when performing these exercises is that your arms are locked into the same position from the start of the movement to the end of the movement. Your arms have a slight bend at the elbow when you are lifting the weight up from the side at the bottom of the rep and your arms have a slight bend in the elbow when you bring them up to the top of the rep. Your arms stays locked into the same position throughout the entire set because this is what it's going to focus on all the tension of the side of the delts. If you lift your arms directly in the line with the side of your body, you will be focusing on all the tension on your side delts. If you lift them a little more towards the front of your body, you will bring your, up your delts into the exercise. I believe the best way to perform the side lateral raise will be lifting the weight up directly in line with the side of your body because there are a lot of good exercises you can use to work on your front delts. Hitting the side delts is what's going to make you appear wider so you want to isolate the muscle with the exercise and work really hard to maximize growth. When you perform the exercise, you must keep your back straight, use your side delts to lift the weight and not momentum, it is straight up and down movement, isolating the side delt with a no swing in motion. You use your side delts to lift the weight to approximately neck height and pause for a second at the top of the rep. This is very important you have a slight pause at the top of the rep because this is what we maximize the amount of tension being placed on that side delts. And we have a, a breakdown of the, the microfibers in your muscles, which is going to maximize muscle growth. When lowering the weight down to the bottom of the rep, you don't want to hold it there for, for too long because it is taking tension off your shoulders and you are basically resting in between reps. Resting in between reps is going to make the exercise a lot easier and is going to slow your overall shoulder development. You want to keep constant tension on your shoulders.